Hello and welcome to this Tech Talk video. My name is Neil and I'm a Vision Specialist at One Electronics. The purpose of this how-to guide is to demonstrate how to set up a multi-line inspection process with FH Vision System. This might be to do with multiple inspections from different angles or positions on a single target or it might be to set up inspections across multiple lines. An FH controller can accommodate up to eight cameras for this purpose. This equates up to a maximum of eight lines. As I said, these lines could be independent lines, or they could be multiple positions, angles, directions on a single target. The important thing to, to remember is these lines are simultaneous. They work in parallel across multiple cores within the actual FH controller. Therefore high speed is maintained across several lines up to the maximum 8 cameras. Just to show a couple of what we mean. Essentially what I have today is this setup where we have a single controller. This one shows up to 8 camera connections. There are other controller versions that will have up to four camera connections, but in the case of the controller we have today, it has a maximum of two camera connections. So if you imagine this controller with two connections, we'll have two cameras connected. And this shows those cameras working across two so separate different lines. It says these are independent, both cameras are controlled independently through triggering, inputs and outputs. Therefore, we can visualise it as almost running two separate vision systems but through a single controller. Back to our initial screen. So the first would be first with the setup an FH controller. It'd be set in standard mode, and standard mode is the fastest inspection mode for a single camera. There are four other options we can select from other than standard mode. In standard mode we see a screen like this showing the single image and around the, the periphery of that image would be our program down the right hand side which we refer to as our scene, some manual measuring and triggering buttons and some shortcut buttons along the top and some information regarding status and data around our inspections and the names we apply to those as well. If I want to enter into a multi-line setup, the first thing I need to do is to go to my tool menu and select system settings. Now although the multiple cameras that we're going to set up or across multiple lines are independent and they can all work independently as separate camera systems, they are going through a single controller. So in terms of system settings, the lines are independent, but of course the common factor will be the communications and the, uh, whether it be parallel, or Ethernet or Ethercat communications. So of course those communications will all be the same and they'll go in and out from the same ports. If we're looking at uh, Ethernet or Ethercat communications, then they can be apportioned to the separate lines through that uh, communication protocols. So we can actually send commands to trigger certain aspects or adjust settings within the individual lines. If we're using parallel digital I.O. connections, then there'll be separate input lines with different lines, different cameras. So we need to check the uh, parallel port settings and, and, and uh, the uh, port numberings to make sure we're applying signals to the right input lines. So once we enter the system settings, we'll see we have various settings on the left hand side across things such as camera settings, communication settings and other settings. What we need to do to start with is navigate to the right hand side and we'll see four tabs, language, basic, communication, operation mode. If we navigate to operation mode, we'll see standard would be what we'd be looking at normally from when we first set up the system. By hitting that drop down we'll see there's four options. The fourth option is the multi-line random trigger mode. So we'll select that and we'll see below that we'll have a chart that links if you like our cameras to the, our lines based on the number of lines we select above. And as I said, we could potentially have up to eight lines. In this case, we can have a maximum of two. And we're running two cameras across a, a two-camera controller. Below that, we'll need to say whether we want 
those cameras to operate across a single line and that could be we want to use multiple or, or two images across two different parts of the target uh, within a single program and a single line or we may want to separate those cameras across two separate lines as in the image we saw a little while ago <coughs> in which case then we would actually make sure that camera zero was aligned with line zero and camera one is aligned with line one as is the case here simply clicking on those will change those settings once we've done all that we can apply those settings and like some other settings we might do within communications and so on and system change settings it will tell us here that we'll need to do a save a system save and a reboot so normally we then apply that if we've made those changes close it at the bottom data save and then we reboot, reboot, reboot the system. When we reboot it, we'll see, in this case, two screens appear, one for line zero and one for line one. So going back to the top left corner, we'll see currently we're looking at line zero. And I have already set this up in multi-line, so I don't need to do a data save on this occasion. Uh, and the reboot, it's already set for that. If I navigate to the bottom of the screen, I will see it. two tabs pop up, one for line zero and the other one here for line one another difference you'll see when we go to line one other than the fact it says line one on the top left is the border color or the background color so this area here changes to blue and that color will change to different colors if we were to then set up a line two three four and so on so that helps us distinguish and see that we're actually looking at a different uh, a different line again we've got one screen we've got multiple lines we have to imagine we're looking at uh, essentially two in this case certain different camera systems so we navigate between those two images which are duplicates of course when it comes to saving data saving programs you need to make sure you administer those functions across both lines saving your program in line zero will not save that pro the, save the program uh, that's running in line one so it's important that if you're doing a data save you do that in line one and you do the same in line zero. They're not linked. You've got to again imagine and remember if you're working two independent systems here. So now we've successfully set up our multi-line. We can actually see that in line zero we have a camera image, and I have to set it up with a simple shape search to look for the WHS logo here on, on a box. Um, Going into line one, this camera sees a slightly different image, and again, we've got a simple shape search. So, here we're demonstrating a two camera setup that's simultaneously looking at two different parts of a target and doing its own inspection. I can trigger those both at the same time, I can trigger them totally independently, and um, trigger one and the second one at a time after that. So, I've got totally independent control across both those lines, and under production sort of uh, setup. That may be done through digital inputs on sensors, encoders, and so on to actually control those those separate triggers. Or in this case, I'm simply manually triggering through my measure button, so I can measure triggering. This one does not trigger the first camera, and vice versa. They're both separate triggers. So hopefully that uh, gives you an insight into a the purpose of multi-line as compared to standard setup or standard configuration but with an FH vision system standard being the fastest setup the single camera inspection multi-line being the settings required for running multiple cameras for a single controller those multiple cameras being totally independent and essentially they could be run together within a, a smaller number of lines or they can be run on totally separate lines so if you're running production lines in parallel with each other i hope you found that uh, video of interest and thank you for your time